of the Sokoto Caliphate. For years, our mothers have not been able to go to the farms. Our daughters are being raped and cut into pieces. Everybody is aware of what transpired at Nimbo, at Ozo Wani, what is happening right now in Delta, what is also happening in Ebony State, and also in parts of Abia. We cannot allow it to continue. We have cowards and spineless, lily-livered idiots as governors. They have given over our land to the Janjaweed to occupy in perpetuity. This very generation, this very IPOB will not tolerate it. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. We would rather all perish and die than to allow our land to be taken over by the Janjaweed. It cannot happen. This is a warning to all the governors who are conspiring due to one political consideration or the other to give our land to infidels and blood-sucking demons from the Sahel. It cannot happen, not under our watch, it's not going to happen. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Our invaders, we are being told, come from Senegambia. We are being told they come from Mali. Some are from Niger Republic. Some are from Chad, according to the governor of Kaduna State, El Rufai. Therefore, we are setting up the Eastern Security Network to combat the excesses of these vagabonds and criminals from across the Sahel. Along the same lines as Amotekun, and even the ones set up by the terrorists themselves, Mietiyala. What we are launching today officially before the congregation of a global audience is the Eastern Security Network. Not a Biafran army, no. Anytime this army will march, we shall let the world know. But for now, and for our present purposes, we are there to defend the land of Biafra against these marauders from the Sahel against a very determined incursion being led by terrorists, full and terrorists to be precise. What we are doing is no different from what Amoteku is seeking to achieve in Yoruba land. What we are doing is not far from what Miet Yala, the terrorists themselves are seeking to achieve in the northern part of the damnable zoological republic. Hello, good evening everybody. Good evening fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom. Uh, my name is Mazikem Patrick DK. I want to welcome you to this uh, wonderful evening edition uh, of uh, our conversation. And uh, we are talking about the new dimension of the Biafra agitation. Uh, the new dimension that IPOB have taken the Biafra agitation, which a lot of people are not paying attention to, by the way. A lot of people are underestimating uh, the new phase of the struggle, uh, but we are here to bring it to your attention that the struggle has grown from drinking of milk to chewing of bone, according to Moazi uh, Solomon Peter. And I said myself that it has also turned to drinking of blood because at this point in time, people are putting their life, young people are putting their life on the line, sacrificing themselves uh, to protect the Eastern region. Uh, and uh, we are here to talk about the dimension that IPOB have taken the struggle to by creating the Eastern Security Network. And with me is Mazi Solomon Peter, our usual guest. Mazi Solomon, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, good morning from my end here, Mazi Pat. Is my voice coming clearly? Yes, coming clearly. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning from my end here. It's just um, nine minutes on top of 7 a.m. Uh, is my time here. And uh, at your end, it might be different according to your time zone. Good it's morning, nine minutes past 11 p.m. Okay, thank you, Mazipat. 
um i greet biafran all over the world lovers of freedom lovers of mazin and the kano and haters of mazin and the kano i also greet the supporters of esn people behind the esn people who are making contributions people who are contributing uh, contributing in different way even the people who are doing the logistics or the intelligence uh, or uh, all intelligentsias and uh, all the leaders and the, everybody that is behind what is happening at this moment that looks after what is happening at this moment not people who are watching what is happening at this moment but people who look after it people who look after it I'm sending greeting to you you are great men you are my heroes you are my you are my champions i bring greeting to you thank you so much all the people who are standing up to responsibility at this very time to 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 make sure that 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 what is happening at this very moment as to regard to the launching of a, a template of a, a, a eastern security network i'm bringing greeting to all of you who who are on the ground working hard to ensure that all of you who are making sure that what is happening you follow it you monitor it you sponsor it you support it i'm bringing greeting to all of you you are the lovers of Igbo land you are the lovers of biafran land you are the men that we can rely on and they close our two eyes to sleep Thank you very much. Um, we are not going to waste your time in this very program because it's ongoing. Depends on the level of the preparation of the presenter. So I will not run more than my shadow, but at as long as God gives us time and there was day and there was night, we will be coming here and we will be analyzing things the way it should be analyzed without any compromise, without any sugar-coated language. We will be telling you things the way it is because the Bible said to the prophet, he said, write the vision boldly on a rock so that he that see it, it should run with it write it boldly so it, it our coming here is to write the vision boldly boldly on the wall so that people who will see it will run with the vision that's why we are here so we appreciate you who are coming to this very platform to listen to us we appreciate you who are sharing this very program at this very moment because you need to share it without you sharing this very program it will not get to the right hands who to the right people who needed to listen to what we are saying and discussing in this very platform so do us favor and do the work and do the job of god by sharing this very program don't watch it alone please share it with your friends share it with your um uh, with your neighbors share it everywhere and make sure that everybody get to this very message we are about to preach this very hour and uh, i have to appreciate that uh before coming here i saw our brother um uh, brother Simon Epa online. I don't know if he's starting or if he's finishing. And uh, a man that I love so much again, uh, Methuselah. I also saw him now in a, in a, in the online. So we know that so many Biafrans are online at this very moment, broadcasting and preaching this gospel of peace and justice. So thank you so much. It doesn't matter if you equally we choose to watch us later or maybe you are busy in another platform. But at any time, please try to share this very um, this very program so that it will go viral. Thank you so much. Now we continue from where we stopped last night. We are talking about the revolution that have started. The re revolution that have started at the launching of ESN and the 10,000 men as we speak now. We are not talking about the men we have on the ground. We are talking about the men that Mazin and the Kanu specifically say that they are under 
arm as we are speaking right now as we are speaking right now that those men are on that arm so these are the people that we are coming here to really analyze what is happening to our people who are still playing game both in a, 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 a both in the forum of ipop and the outside ipop and the, some people who has also far find the reason has find the reason to 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 leave to to have left ipop to establish their own platform which at this very moment find it convenient that all they need to do to grow their own platform is to speak against is to campaign against ipop to campaign against the leadership of ipop is to campaign against esn so these are the people that i am actually bringing this very analysis to because this is not matter of this is not matter of what i have against anybody uh, as an individual or what i felt anybody has done to me or what is my quarrel quarrel between me and the uh, and the mass part or what is my quarrel between me and uh, my uh, 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 any member of IPOP, be it a leader, be it not leader. This is not matter of what I have against another person or an individual issue. This is actually an issue that has to do with a race, that has to do with an environment, that has to do with people, that has to do with people, that has to do with generation, that has to do with uh, with a, uh, with an area where people call their indigenous home, where people call their their home, their extra home. So it's something that has to do with Igbo land, something that has to do with Biafra and the people of Biafra, which your uncle, which your sister, your brother, your mother, your relation, Ifunegi, Ifunagi, all those things are connected to what we are saying right now. So it's not the matter of one single individual or the matter of what I have against one single individual or because of my uh, antagonizement with one single individual, then uh, I, I should undermine what is happening that connected everybody. Everybody are together in this very uh, uh, in this very thing that we are discussing here. So now to move forward with these very discussions, I'm going to give you an instances, an instances. Now, these 10,000 men under arm as ESN that we are discussing here, they are men and women like us, like you who has not touched gone, like you who has not gone through the training they are the same like us men who has aspiration for life men who who think and reason what they want to use their life their life their life to do men who has visions men who has dream men who is like me and you that you are looking at right now so these are the people that we are talking about. Yesterday I said, IPOP escalated the agitations of Biafra that started 2009, 2000, uh, 1999. In 2012, their agitation escalated by the emergence of Mazin and Kano. Right now, as we are discussing, in 2020, ESN was, was launched, of which both na both Mazen Nandekano, both you, both me, has committed ourselves, has committed ourselves for men to bear arm for our sake. So there was nobody that is excluded in this very risk. Nobody excluded. We are all included including you that is not ipop member including you that has has left ipop has left ipob including you that has nothing to do with agitation of biafra including you that is a politician governor senator 
in any way you are elite, including Igwe, including the tradition, all the traditional rulers and their councils, all the people in the village, the born and the unborn children are on this thing. The launching of ESN, men under arm, every one of us is involved. So it's not something that anybody we looked at and they turned a blind eyes. It's not something that anybody could look and said, nothing is happening. It's not something that anybody could look and said, don't mind them, they are just carrying flag running around the street. We are talking about arm, armed, armed. Away that is mass destructions. And the, these formations did not only hold it by carrying a gun that so many of them has initiated on how to manufacture, create bullet, how to build gun. So I want you, after I've explained what I've, I have to explain here, I'm going to elevate you. So many of them has been engaged into being trained to know how to republic or how to uh, create a gun bullet, uh, 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 um, uh, mass destructive uh, weapons. So we are not talking about men underarmed as men you just carry gun and give. They are men that has gone under the training of knowing how to build bullet, how to build bullet, how to build gun, how to build any explosive. So if you are not getting the message, so very clear. Do you understand? We chant again very clear. There is some videos we will not be able to bring to you on this uh, platform because of some standards and some attacks that are coming from the Facebook. So we want you to understand. If not, we would have showed you some videos for you to see what fire explosion can do and what gun can do when people are handling it. But now we are not talking about people who knows how to shoot or knows how to put bullet in a gun and shoot. We are talking about a formation that can build gun, that a formation that can build bullet, a formation that can build, that are trained to build explosive. Now, when this when fire started burning, he does not have demarcations. He does not have demarcation that this is the house of this person and this is the house of this person. Once the flame go, the flame continue to consume anything that it meets on its way. When bullet is being released, the bullet keep going. Anything that the bullet meets on its way, he doesn't say, oh, uh, this man uh, go by the side. When bullet go, pia, anything on his way until the strength or the range of that bullet is finished. Anything he meet on his way, whether tree, whether goat, whether cow, whether human, whatever that that gun, that that bullet that went out meets on his way until its, its range finishes. It peers through it. It peers through that thing. Whether individual, whether governor, bullet doesn't know when bullet go out. He doesn't go out and and when he is going, he sees somebody that they say is a governor, and then he he will come down and dodge the governor and then continue going. Anything on his way, anything on the way of flame, fire, anything on the way of bullet. It peers into that thing. 
he doesn't have selection of who is poor and who is and uh, who is a kid and who is a mother or who is a father or anybody it has no it has no selection of individual or people so now when we are talking i want you to understand all these basic things that i am saying here because we are going to move forward and if you don't get this basic when we begin to talk of other things you will get lost now bullet and the gun is a max destructive uh, 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 element is a max destructive element that's the way i said it when you shoot gun it will not stop until anything on his way is being cleared so when you shoot a bullet he does not know who doesn't want to support biafra or who want to support biafra or who is supporting biafra so we know that all of us are under this very risk that's what you need to know every one of us no one should be excluded when gun is involved when explosive is involved when is in, uh, uh, people manufacturing bullet and gun is involved so we should know where we are sitting we should know where we are standing so you should not be thinking like it is for some people it is for it is not for you if you fail if you fail to position yourself properly when the bullet flies everything on their way is an enemy everything on the way of bullet is an enemy to conquer he doesn't select name or faces that is what i wanted to establish here mazin and kanu said ten thousand men are under this are with this arm that we are talking about ten thousand men ten thousand men these are ten thousand men that we need to manage very well these are 10,000 men that we need to look after. These are 10,000 men that we must make sure that they are constantly on our side. Listen very well. I'm getting slow. I don't want to push as the way it is in my heart. These are 10,000 men we must look after to ensure that they remain on our side. 24 hours they are be they must they, these are 10000 men that should be looked after with caution with cautions these are 10000 men that should be supported in full to ensure to ensure that day and night 24 hours running in a day that they are on our side that they their job is to do things that put us on a safety these are 10,000 men that we needed to follow up make sure we own their operation we own their operations 10,000 men we have to look after failure to do so failure to look after these 10,000 men on the arm now we are not talking of people on waiting <laughs> because there was always been an escalation there was all there will always be an escalation now my argument this morning in 1999 a man who was like started a struggle for Biafra and he started this struggle I want you now to say, to judge with me, in my own argument, a man, a child that was born in 1999, how old is that child? Does that child remain the same baby? Does that child remain the same baby that was given birth at the hospital? Does that child remain the same baby that was breastfeeding? at the time of birth as of this time that we are talking about does the child remain the same baby that people carry in their arms 
that people cleans their bum? That does that child remain the same baby that people used to help to stand, teach how to crawl? This is my argument this morning. Do you think a child born in 1999, do you think that that child is still the same baby that was sucking milk at the time of birth? This is my argument. Now, check the age from 1999, from 1999 down to 2020. How old is the child that was given birth to at that time? Use your physical eyes now to go around. People that was born the day and the time in 1999, when this, when this new agitation for Biafra started, how old are they today? What are they doing? Are they independent? Can they reason? Can they think? Can, are they now member of the society? Are they right now think independently? Can they do things by themselves? Can they reason by themselves? Now, it is the same with every ideology. The same with every ideology. The time you give birth to a singular ideology, it grows over a time. It grows over the time. Like as you can see, you when you plant a tree or when you plant uh, anything, over the time, you cannot compare that thing you planted in 1999, in 2001. Due to the process of time, that very thing you planted does not, the nature of it, the stature, Everything about it does not remain the same. When you plant a mango tree in 1999, by now they are bearing multiple seed. And their seed are also planted somewhere, which are growing that from that time till now when they started bearing seed, they might have also started the one, the seed they bear might have also started bearing other seeds. That is how life goes. As long as the as long as an ideology is born, it grows over the time. It escalates over the time. He develops over the time. He matured over the time. He changes and becoming something X and something X over the time. Over the time. So that is what we should be looking at in this very discussion. In a brief moment, I hit the point and then we come back. Now, the ideology of Biafra has escalated. The ideology of Biafra at this moment we are talking has escalated. And it escalated based on the circumstances that is confronting the people. Listen very attentively. The Fulani people started killing our mothers, our fathers in the farm. And this is the new development. In 1999, it is not seen as the way it's being seen today, as the way it's being seen in 2012. This is a, a, a peculiar nature, a peculiar, a different challenge that matured to, matured to a very uh, a, a very good height that can be viewed, that can be seen. Now, the issue of Flanis, the inventors, the terrorists, the number four most dangerous terrorists in the world, yeah. the issue of their challenges in our communities, in our farm, is not as it was, is not the way it is today, is not the way it was in 1999. And they also in in other subsequent years before 2012 and before 2020, it is a different, it is a different because it is an ideology that is growing and it will grow worse than what we are seeing today. Now, the challenge of the Fulanis, the challenge of Fulanis killing our mothers, our fathers in the farm is very obvious in this very present time. 
This is the challenge that are facing the agitators that is not about facing Nigerian army who doesn't want them to carry a flag, who doesn't want them to agitate, who doesn't want them to lay a complaint of the things that the that of the things that are not working well in their society. Those ones has been the things of past because they don't want you to say you don't have light. They don't want you to say you don't have tight road. They don't want you to say you don't have steady electricity. They don't want you to say you don't have health facilities. They don't want you to say that Igocha, that Igocha um, uh, uh, seaport is not working, that there is no airport, that there is no airport in which uh, international aircraft can, uh, can fly direct to the eastern region. All these things, they don't want you to complain. They don't want you to complain there is no job. They don't want you to complain that, uh, uh, na, uh, that uh, na, Nigerian police are brutal to the indigenous people. They don't want you to complain all those ones. So that's why they make an effort to stop you from agitation, to stop you from coming to the street to mention and register your grievances to the government, to address it. So because they are not ready to address any issue regarding the indigenous people, they have stopped you from agitation. They, when you come to agitate, they will bring gun, they will bring police, they will make arrests, they will kill. We have seen it in different video. We can be, we come with the evidences later. And because they don't want you to complain, they try to stop agitation, they try to stop protests, they try to stop any means to register uh, grievances in Nigeria. But another thing is this, apart from that challenge of the police and Nigeria heavy handedness of Nigeria police, Nigerian police and Nigerian army on the indigenous, we also have Fulani challenges confronting us. We also have Fulani terrorists the challenge of Fulani terrorists confronting, confronting us. So on this basis, on this basis, the ideology of the agitation has to develop resistance, resistance to such encroachment, to such a challenge confronting the society, confronting Biafran people, confronting the old eastern region now because of this new arrival of this challenge of the flannies which has been there but they try to renovate it they try to add more fire on it when they have finally grabbed the instrument of governance in nigeria then now they want to use the the instrument of this governance in nigeria to oppress everyone so therefore they empower the the Fulani militants into killing the indigenous people into bringing subduing the indigenous people into fear now this problem of the Fulanis now facing us in agitation of biafra now brought about launching esn adama if an ideology has grown, like I said, child who she's born in 1999 when this agitation started, new agitation started by Wazulike, now they must have known how to solve their problem. Now those child that are born in those age by now, in their age, must have known how to face their challenges, to, to resist their challenges. They, by now, they have grown to a point where they know what is good for them and what is not good for them. And they develop resistance to anything that dears the life they are living. So now ESN was launched under the template to protect our life. We, ESN was not launched to protect a Fulani man whether he is good or bad. It was launched to protect our people who are under risk of dying. Risk of dying in the farm. So that's why ESN 
was launched. So people must not miscalculate it that Mazen Nandekano want to fight his enemy, his personal enemy. There is no intention of that, wanting to fight his personal enemy. But the only, body, the only person that is counted enemy as an enemy in this formation is somebody who is against the people. Who is against the people? And the Fulani Hess men we are recorded as number one enemy, but they are not the only enemies. There is people also who are Igbo, Igbo name, Igbo community, Igbo rulers, who are also helping the activity of this Fulani. And the, by that action of helping the activities of the Fulanese has automatically make themselves the enemy of the people. Automatically, not the enemy of Mazin Nandekano as an individual, as a husband, as a son to a family. We must know at this very moment what Mazin Nandekano represents. And any time we say Mazin Nandekano, we mean in his capacity as a leader of indigenous people who own we own him responsibility and he own us responsibility. It is not by his choice. It's not going to be by his choice to listen to us. It's not going to be by his choice to implement what we want. But it is totally by our choice because him as the leader of indigenous people is our property is our property we are not dictating to him how he will marry his wife on how he he will go about with his wife and his family but we have the power to dictate for him how he's go how he offer us leadership so he is our property in the position of leadership of indigenous people of biafra he is our property. We own him. As long as he remains in that position, it is the property of Ibus, the southeastern region. Like as they said, a man is a statement. The moment you mounted the position of power, you are no more yourself. You are totally the property of people that that put you on a position that support you in the position of that leadership you are their instrument you are their power so they they are the one who use you you are not the one using them so mazin nandekanu in the position of leadership in ipop we are the one using him he's not the one using us we are using him to achieve anything that we want to achieve as regard to Biafran ideology. So we, we have the ownership of him in that very position. And that is why every one of us is endeavored, every one of us who are under IPOP endeavors to support, to make contribution towards that we are not making contribution as in uh, we are uh, we are giving Mazen and the kind of, uh, money as an a person as an individual as a son as a husband to a woman no we are contributing because Mazen and the kind of is our property is an our instrument it is our own thing it is our own thing. The way you care for your children, you pay their school fees because they are your own. The way you catered for your immediate family, for your wife, 
because it's your wife. And so many of you can jump up and say, my wife, my wife, you touch my wife, you dear my wife. That is what Mazin and the Kanu is to us. Under his, on his position as a leader of indigenous people of Biafra, he is our own, our own property. So we contribute to take care of what is ours. I don't know if people are getting my point. Please, if you are not getting my point and you are here to listen, you can make your comment and say, I am not getting your point. Mazin and the Kanu is our property. The way you will buy your car, when you buy your car, you register it under your name. It is your property. You take care of it. You service it. You buy petrol, you wash the car, you clean the car, you put a uh, perfume in the car. The way you service it as your own, that is how Mazin and the Kanu is our own. Is somebody hearing me? Hello? Am I talking to people? The way you will buy a house, you will buy a house, you will like to build, to maintain that house, cherish that house, because it is your own property, it is your own. If you hear that anything will happen to that house, you will always identify, you will always support, spend money, spend time to make sure things are in order. In that very house, the house is being fixed, the window break you fix it and the door break you fix it because you have the ownership of the house that is what Mazin and the Kanu is to us we owned him so because we owned him we we do everything to support we are not supporting based that he is an individual he is someone else no we see him as a property that we own as a property that we own, as an instrument that belongs to us. Like a farmer who is going to uh, farm, you will go to the market. Please, can you share this very video that because I'm, I'm going to hit more point, I'm going up and up, and I will come to a point where you will just like to hear what we are saying here. Please share this very program. Now, the way a farmer, we wanted to go to farm, when you want to go to farm, you will go to market and you will buy, before you buy that uh, knife, before you buy that cutlass, before you buy that hole, it is not you. So you don't think of it. You don't think on where to keep it. You don't think on what, uh, what to, uh, how to take it and use it. You don't think of that. But the time you go to market because you want to farm and the, you go and the pay and the buy the cutlass and the buy the hole and the return home with them and keep it in your house. From the moment you pay for it, it becomes your own. So therefore, it is under your responsibility to take care of it by all means. Because it's not your own. It's not any it's not for anybody. It's for your own. So the way you take care of it, that is the way we take care of Mazin and Kanu in the position of leadership of indigenous people of Biafra. He is our own. When you if you claim that he is your own, as you looked after your property, when the tire, when the tire the tire of your car uh, 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 is um, getting old you change it when the window of your house is broken you fix it when the door is broken you fix it you keep looking after what is your own keep looking after your property keep looking after your after your things that is the way we do so now as we have the ownership of Mazen and the Kano, we defend him anywhere we defend him anywhere. We support him anywhere. So, and that is what has makes his position as a leader firm. And that was how that was that was what makes him work effectively for the people, work effectively for IPOP because we own him 
and we support him and we take care of him and we take care of anything. So now that the IPOP agitation under the ideology of Biafra has escalated to ESN, the same way every one of us now, whether you are in IPOP, outside IPOP, or a politician or whosoever you are, now that ESN has been launched, I want to tell you more about ESN. Now, ESN was launched under a template. And that template, that structure of ESN is to do a good job. Is to do a good job. Yes. When you buy your car, your car is, 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 is meant to transport you to ease you the stress of walking for a distance. But that very car that was meant for that good purpose can also turn against you when it be mishandled. That is why on the road, there is rule for safety. Even in what is fantastic, what is good, what is beautiful, that whatever technology or formation that is beautiful, it also has the caution side of it. Caution. When you fail to apply that very particular instrument that is good, that beautiful car, when you fail to apply cautions, when you fail to apply cautions, then it backfired. It backfired. That is what you need to know about ESN. ESN is in the platform to defend life and the property. And if ESN fail to fulfill the mission of which they are created, it will backfire on us. And when it back... Yes, Maz. Yeah, I, I sorry to interrupt you a little. Somebody sometime when ESL was formed gave you a three months challenge that ESL is going to fail in three months. And you told the person, yes, if ESL fail, uh, I will get back to you. But Mazi, can you please get, give us that story a little? Yes. Now, I was being challenged by a Biafran, a politician, a man who is against Mazinandikano, against IPUP, and against the formation of ESN. He challenged me and he said, in three months, in three months, there will be nothing like ESN anymore. That those boys that Mazinandikano brought out that they will all die in three months and somebody like me which if i give you my word i don't care again once i've told you the truth i don't care again what you, your reason is what your thought is i just say the truth and i move i say to him i have told you all the truth that you needed to know do you see esn he said, yes. I said, ESN has come to stay. Is either we all support ESN to do the work that they come to do, or we refuse to support ESN, and the ESN will do the work that we did not create them to do. That's two things. And I will tell him that as long as ESN is involved and they got my support that ESN will not fail and I gave him a challenge say in three months if ESN fail be the first person to call me but if ESN succeeded after three months I will be the one to call you 
my brother, after three months, I called him. And he told me that he is supporting ESN now. That he has come to realize that ESN has come to stay and they needed the support of all of us. I call him. His, his confession become different. He's now a full supporter of ESN. He has come to realize that what we are saying is right and he is working for us now. He is working for us. So that is what happened. Thank you, Mazipat. I don't know if I've explained this very well, but I have to move on with what I'm explaining to you right now. Now, I am telling you that ESN was launched under the template to protect our life, the life of our mothers, the life of our uncles and brothers, even in the bush against the against Flani terrorists who are encroaching into our land and destroying our crops and doing that. That is a good job. And that's why every one of us are clapping for them. But there is cautions. There is cautions. And if we don't follow the caution, nothing work by itself. Everything work because people are consistently looking after it. Just the house you are living, leave that house. The, when you come, the house is smelling, everything is good. Look, leave that house for one month, two months. Come back to that house. It's not gonna, it will not be what you left that house for. The, you, the house will not remain the same. So therefore, what am I preaching this very morning? That ESN is launched to do this good job, beautiful. Every one of us is clapping. Now it does not end to the clapping. It, it, the time we are now is that the revolution is on. And therefore, we have to get the owner, own the ownership of this revolution. We are going to own the ownership of this revolution. The way you thought that, hey, I need to take care of my kids so that they will, they will be good, so that they will go to school, so that they will live in a good environment. That is the way you are going to take ESN. That is the way it is designed to be taken care of. Ownership. You have to take complete ownership of ESN for it to, to be able to do the job in which they are created to do. Fail, failure to do that, we all will crash. That the plane left a certain destination and was able to arrive safely in another destination, then there is caution that is being taken. Caution that is being taken. This has nothing to do with what you have about Mazin Nandekanu or what you have about any individual. I have told you that Mazin Nandekanu is a public property. Anytime you say Mazin Nandekanu, Mazin Nandekanu, you are actually touching public property. Public property. Because he's a man, he doesn't own himself anymore. He doesn't own himself anymore. People are talking to him. People are advising him. People are calling him. People, pe people are, are even are rebooking him. He, he doesn't just wake up by himself and then started doing things by himself. He is a public, he is a public property. He is a property owned by the public. So he's not going to do what he wants. He does what the people want. The supporters. It's not you who are the corner. You never supported, you never supported, you never contributed, but you want him to do what you want. The people who own him, who are supporting the movement, own him, and he is doing what they want. What it is is that if people doesn't, like in IPOP, I want to explain something, and I just want to digress a, a little. Now, as a leader of IPOP, who has millions of people under his command, if there be any gang up of a few leaders who are principal officers who come together, who felt like uh, ESN, that they, they don't want ESN to be armed, that they don't want uh, ESN uh, to be launched. 
Now, as a leader, he respects all the principal officers. But the only people that win every uh, that win in every decisions are the majority of the people. He cannot now the can at this stage cannot for what few member of principal officers in IPOP. They that is why you see that most people who leave IPOP are people who has been to the position of power. Because Nandi Kanu at this point cannot cannot implement what few members of uh, principal officers, few members, maybe 10, 20, 30, 50, or 100, or even, or even 1,000 of them. He cannot afford to risk millions of people. Let's say even, let's just bring it to 30 million or 40 million of people under his command. Mazi cannot risk the 30 million people under the wish of a few principal officers who are 10, or 50. It cannot. Those principal officers can leave, can go and, and leave IPOP. But Mazi cannot risk millions of Biafrans in the desire of few principal officers. That is what is happening. Sorry for these digressions, but I need to mention this and people need to understand what is happening what is happening in IPOP when principal officer when London was when uh, uh, England was the, uh, was uh, 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 when um, he dismantled England he cannot risk millions of Biafrans over few people who parade themselves as principal officers as coordinator and what what are you he cannot risk 30 million of Biafran. What 30 million of Biafran what want at a moment override what 100 coordinators want at a moment. So that is how IPOP is being run. So tomorrow, you can still see principal officers who will leave IPOP, who will leave IPOP forum or who will leave the umbrella of IPOP and go and be talking juggles and be beating around the bush as they are doing. The fact remains that few of you can never override the wishes of the millions of Biafran all over the world. And the no Biafran is more important than the other just because you are a deputy or because you are principal officer or member of DOS. You are not more superior than people who has not in that very post. You are sent to do a job. Like ESN was launched to do a job. So they have for ESN to continue to be ours, they have to fall under the template in which they are created. They have to do the job that they are sent to do. If they fail to do the job they are sent to do, they are no more ours. They are now working for the benefit of some people we don't know. So now, for having established this, I move forward. At this very point, for this revolution, by the launching of ESN and the AMDEM, now, for us to succeed as a people, since it has happened, it has been launched, it is there, 10,000 men are already bearing arms. As I explain here, now every one of us, every one of us, whether you are IPOP, whether you are not IPOP member, must have own have ownership of this formation of ESN. For only one reason, for only one reason, to make sure, like to make sure that it does not backfire on us as a people. ESN has been launched. So therefore, for ESN, you must support. I am talking this, and I believe some politicians who are putting 
call across are listening to me. They are listening to me and they are listening very well. And people who make arguments and people who make stupid arguments of what is legal and what is not legal and the, what is this? 10,000 men are already under arm. Are you, are you going to kill all of them? Do you think you will succeed in erasing them from your community? Do you think that you can be able to wipe them away? Do you think that you can finish destroying all of them and your society will remain the same and remain safe? No. Nature does not permit that. Nature does not permit it. And that is why I am making this video today. Call to this video. Whatever it will take you to come out in support of ESN, do it now before it becomes too late. We need to own that for formation. We need to look after it. We need to take care of it. We need to make every one of them under this arm understand that they are our own. That we are in a very good terms with the mission which they are sent to do. We must provide what they want. We must support them so that it will not backfire on our community, so that it will not backfire on our people. Because if you are throwing a stone in a market, do you know whose head is going to land? Why are you an Igbo man? Why are you from the old eastern region? Playing as if you don't know what is happening. You are not hearing what is happening that ESN has been launched to protect life and property, that you have to make it your own property. You have to make it, you, you have to join all the, all the people to make it their property. It has to be our property. It has to be our property to look after. If you don't look after your car and you are driving on the road, you are running on a very high risk. What about if there is something happen? The car will somersault. The car will, when the car is somersaulting, it will not say because I'm somersaulting. The ions in the car will say, "Let me keep the man who owns me safe." Anywhere the iron caught, it will cut into your flesh. If you don't look at your house, when the house started collapsing, it will not say, "Oh, the person who owns me is here." that they let the plank not fall into his head. It will fall on your head if you fail to look after the house, if you fail to own the house and maintain the house. Let me tell you, everybody is running in caution. You cannot say because you are a pilot, you own the aircraft, and you will fail to, you will fail to take cautions that the, when the aircraft crash, that because you are the owner of the aircraft, then the aircraft will, the, uh, the aircraft will throw you away. While you are the, the, the number is on the screen for those who want to call in us. We'll be rounding up. And yes, is... in a few minutes. In a few minutes. So now I am telling all of you now, Mazi Nandekanu is on this risk. Every IPOP family is on this very risk. Everybody who like or who like Mazin and Khan, who does not support or who does not think good of him or good of IPOP family, you are on this risk. The PG that is parading himself and sabotaging and compiling, the, and compiling the names of IPOB and compiling and the ESN. names and mm -hmm. ESN pointing hand pointing finger, you are on this risk. <laughs> ah, you that is the Igwe of the village, who are, I'm standing behind the governor, we, we must, we must uh, flush out, we must destroy. You are in this risk. Your village is in this risk. Your community is in this risk. Every one of us are in this revolution. All we needed is to give what the full support for 
this revolution to be completed or else every one of us will come under that risk you will record and refer to this broadcast that i am making today that the only thing that will escape us from the rot from the destruction from the future destruction is to come out and take ownership of esm by supporting them taking care of them making sure that everything it takes it requires for them to continue to function under the template in which they are created that we provide them time that you provide them that is what is going to save us or else when it clashed all of us all of us will bear the consequences all of us will bear the consequences and that does not end there and that does not end there remember the formation of esn has already been established they can never be the, the aspiration can never be reduced rather it will always find reason to escalate if the whole Igbo politicians gang up against ESN, ESN form formation will escalate. If the whole businessmen of Igbo land gang up against ESN, the ESN formation will escalate. If the whole uh, diaspora people from Igbo land, from Biafra in general, gang up against ESN, the ESN will escalate. The formation is there. The idea is there. People have already been taught. It's just like some people, you going to school, they taught you how to handle com computer. That knowledge that is being given to you, nobody take it away again. No matter how people try to pretend and do things, the fact remains that once that knowledge enters somebody, nobody take it away. Before that knowledge enter, you might have remedy. You might have to stop it by not letting the individuals go through that training, go through that knowledge, go through that learning. But after that individual has gone through that learning, has gone through that training, that individual is no more the same as he used to be. Even if you don't employ him, he does not change the knowledge he has about something he has gone training for. He does not change it. Any knowledge, even if you sack him out of class. I think we have our first caller on the program. Hello, caller, welcome to the program. Kola, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, go ahead. We are hearing you. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, I'm watching the program, which is written live. You know, sometimes the replaying of most of these programs sometimes don't make us understand if it's written live or not. Yes. So, watching the program where Mr. Where Mr. Solomon is uh, making some explanation. Yes. Is that right? It's, program. it's a live program. Go ahead. Mazi, can you hear him clearly? Okay. Yes. Is the sound? Oh, I'm, yes. hearing you, I'm hearing you. Thank you very much. Is the sound audible, Mazi Solomon? And you hear me? It's very fast. Okay. Okay, go ahead, caller. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm Mazi Godwin. Uh, I'm just listening to... I just... Uh, I, I didn't come in long anyway. I'm just listening to Mazi Solomon explanation narrative. But one thing I wanted to add here is that the his explanation is very, 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 very clear, clear. But the one of the problems that the politicians of the South, South or Biafra side of Nigeria is having is lack of intelligence, intelligence to reason out to or to face realities on ground. What, with what Mazi Solomon is explaining now, I come to be thinking all along I've been following Mazi Solomon the camera for almost three years now. When we, I will not let, don't push this struggle to the 
world. Don't preach this struggle to the world. But I think with the explanation of Mazi Sloman, now I personally, I'm, I'm trying to understand it, all that shout Mazi Sloman, now they can't for shouting all along the year. I'm trying to face the reality of understand the reality of that shout now because this 10,000 people are armed already now. And these 10,000 people or more are not just people that are, are that uh, for the sake of theory, and these are people who, majority of them are people who have traveled that side, see how nation works, see if, if you want to survive, what we are doing in Nigeria is not the way human beings have to survive. If human beings have to survive, what we are doing in Nigeria, we are just living like animals in the zoo. And now these people have really understood that it's either we survive or we perish. It is very, very clear. It's either we survive, because if we don't survive, if we don't struggle to survive, if we fail to struggle to survive, then we struggle to uh, we struggle to survive the other way around. Because if we don't struggle to survive from this present tsunami, hegemony, if we don't struggle to survive from this oppression from the uh, uh, from the uh, Nigerian government, then when we struggle to survive from this, this thing this uh, guys are pushing now. So I think in my own understanding, at the best, the, the earlier the positions of the, I know most of them are listening, listen, but when they listen, they close their eyes. I was listening to one brother, one general Omai, I, I came to understand that the brother too. My was like speaking like a like madman. These are people who will call people to know and who want people to start respecting people like that because just because they have their because, because they have power, they because have they are elders. Now, what you have, people have gotten it. And people are equipped with arms. If you mismanage, if you fail to, if you mismanage, because these people must survive. They must survive. They must live life for what life is all about. I'm not living like animals. I'm living from hand to mouth. Many of them have traveled outside, see how life is going to live. If you want to survive, you need hospital to survive. If you want to survive, you need no need to survive. If you want to survive, you need no need to survive. But very few people just make this thing useful to themselves only and just supposedly watching more than millions of people into abject poverty and and in fact with the explanation of, of Mark Zomon, I come to understand very clearly that Nigeria will never remain the same again. As the quicker the Eastern, the Biafran side of politicians understand it this way, the better. All they have to start doing now is how to contain this thing, not to escalate beyond control. And how, it to, how, how are they going to contain this now? How they are contain this now is start normal with the cognition of what is on ground already. Recognize this force that is on ground already and see how to legalize it to be utilized positively. Otherwise, if it goes negatively, I'm sorry. Then thank, that's the way it's done. Not even the North is going to be the best way of thinking. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for the uh, contribution. Yeah, so like uh, Mazi Solomon was saying, um, it is important that we understand the time we live in. I think we have another call on the Hello, Carla. Welcome to the program. Good evening. Hello, Carla. Hello. Yes, you're welcome to the program. Introduce yourself and tell us where you are calling from. The caller is having network problem. I think he's having network problem. Yeah, this caller is having network issues, so I hope that he calls back. Uh, we have another caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Yeah, welcome to the program. Good Hello. evening. It's already morning anyway. Hello. Can you hear me? This caller is not responding. 
let's respond to this caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to the program. Are you hearing me? Yeah, Biafras are listening. Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, good morning from here. This is one, 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 about almost one, one twenty a.m. here. Yeah. It's past Hello? 20 minutes past midnight here. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I love your platform. I enjoy, I enjoy it. And I love the way Marzi Sodomo is analyzing everything concerning ESN. Are you hearing me? Go ahead. We are listening. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. I love the way you analyze, explain everything concerning Marzi and the ESM. Uh, the problem is, do you know why we are having problems concerning the ESM, concerning the politicians, the Eastern governors? Because they they allow the interest they have towards Mazen and the Kano, like to them. That is why they don't want to support anything formed by Mazen and the Kano. Because as, as, as we are right now, ESL need to be funded. need to be funded. Because if anything, if anything uh, concerning funding or last, the actual now will be in problem, will be in trouble. That is why we need to that's why ESA need to be funded. They need our support. Now they are our property. We need we need to take care of them by funding them financially. And then uh, this is the right that time now for the east, uh, for the uh, southeast governor or the Biafran governors to support them, fund them. Because if anything happens to them, as you see, ten thousand men under hand. Uh, it's not it's not ten people under hand, it's not ten men under hand, ten thousand. Even one why, even it, one person. It, even one person under hand is dangerous. It's dangerous. Go ahead. Go ahead. 10,000 men on the arm. That is why the, the interest, the, that is why the interest, the, the interest, so they, they have towards man, they not the canon. They need to keep that one aside. They need to support Eastern Security Network. That's the only, only uh, trusted security aspect. Thank, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you for that Master contribution. Now, all this they are if all this they are able to have the 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 bombs, they just to destabilize the airport. On the side, they don't have anything to do about the security aspect in Japan. But they cannot destabilize uh, they, they cannot destabilize the SN. Thank you very much for that contribution. Yeah. Marjorie Solomon calls keep pouring in, even if it's midnight here. We have another caller. Hello, caller. It's past midnight, but people are still awake because they want to hear the good news of Biafra. Hello, Kola. Welcome to the program. Hello, can you hear me? Kola, can you please talk to Ross? I think this caller is, uh, is sleeping. We have another caller. Hello, Kola. Welcome to the program. Hello, Mazi, we are having uh, issues with the calls that are coming in. Um, okay, hold on, let me see if this caller can speak up this time around. Hello, caller, welcome to the program. Can you please talk to, can you please talk to us? We are listening to you, go ahead. Yeah, so Mazi, I uh, think um, okay. the call. Uh, yes, Mazi, part just before the call, before the you can be able to get through with the caller, um, with the callers. Um, I just want to say something. A politician called me, and they said, 
they are what use that they they are what use is ESN to Igbo to Igbo nation or to behalf or to uh, people of the southeast. What use is ESN since it's not being formed by the governors and uh, it is not uh, the people who are in the position who has the constitutional right that institute ESN and what use is it for? I said, what use? Is Fulani has men who are bearing armed. What use are they for Igbo nation and for Igbo people? And you are talking about the uh, outfit that is not being launched by the governors and this. The Fulani has men that are bearing mass destructive weapon. It is. Did any governor come out and say he is the one who launched them? That is the one who instituted them. And yet they are operating with this weapon conveniently in your community, in your killing your own people. And nobody has been able to arrest them. Nobody has been able to stop them. With your almighty power, as a governor, as a senator, as a, a representative in any capacity in Nigerian government, you were not able. Governor had not entered Bush or even his boys or even sent out the security that are guiding him. You don't need to guide me at this time. Go and get me the flannies that are, are destroying our communities and killing our mothers and raping them. None of them. Which governor? Which president, which constitution institute the Fulani bearing arm, AK-47, walking in the street of Anambara freely, walking in the street of Aboin State freely, walking in the street of uh, 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 in the street of uh, Imo, uh, Imo State freely, walking in the street of Enugu freely, walking in River State freely, in Akwaibon, in Delta. In a door carrying AK 47 against your home base farmers, against your mother, against your father, which governor launched them? Which governor launched them? Which constitution institute them? This is what the answer I give, and up to now, this very answer has put that very man into sleep. Now, we must know that ESN is our own, our own, and we need to all come out and take ownership of ESN by supporting them, by supporting them. ESN is not the property of Mazin and the Kano as a person, as a person. Mazi is the leader of Igbos, is Igbo leader, whether you believe it or not. He is a Biafran leader, whether you believe it or not. And so therefore, if he is the property of the Mazi, is a public property. Mazi Nandekanu is a public property. And you need to understand it very clear. We need to take ownership of ESN by supporting them, taking care of them from all walks of life and the, because of time and the Mazi party is traveling is traveling tonight in two hours distance we tend to make this program very short and we mm. don't want to venture Mazi, into something that we cannot conclude in time Mazi, we have a caller already hello caller welcome to the program go on hello caller can you hear me Caller, can you hear me? Hello, caller. This caller is not coming for, is not speaking up, so we have to let him go. Um, Mazi Solomon, you're welcome back. Um, before we round up, we have just five minutes to go. Mazi, there is a question I also want to ask you. Um, how do you see ESN in the nearest possible future? How do you see ESN? In what shape do you see ESN in the next possible future? In my own perception, 
the only thing that will determine the future of ESN and the, the escalation that will come from ESN, the only thing that will determine the future of ESN is the way we treat them now as a politician, the way we treat them now as PG, the way we treat them now as the traditional ruler, the way we treat them now as the member of society. That is what we determine the future and the escalation that will take place through this formation of ESN. The way we treat them. If we regard them as animal, as nobody child, as we left our as we leave our as we leave our support for them, that's what we determine the future. What happened? Because if ESN for one day go hungry, you can never stop them for why did they go out to look for what to eat? If you refuse to provide food, if you refuse to support and they go hungry, they are natural men, natural human beings. If you refuse to support them and they eventually the cloth they, they put on them got thawed and they lack the soap to shower and they, they lack just things to survive as a human human being. If they go out to look for it, nobody should blame them or blame Mazin and the Kano. That is just pure truth. That is just pure truth. And that is what I am making all the members of our society to understand that every one of us are under this risk. No one is excluded. So you will know your responsibility and know what you should be doing at this very moment. If you are the one that has been sent message to take money to reach the hand of the people and take care of them, don't remove penny out of it. Don't eat the money. Because you are the one to determine the, what the, the future of ESN should be. If they give you money to deliver or contribute money in your hand, you eat it. Then you are the one determining what the future of ESN will be. If you are a politician, you are running around, you are only looking in the side of you are only looking in the side of the law constitution con, constitution as to regard to the life of your people, then you are not living a balanced life. You are not living a balanced life. You need to be balanced. When you allowed your sense of reasoning to be balanced, a fresh idea will flow into you and you will be able to be an instrument to complete this revolution. We need to get our freedom politically. We need to get our freedom socially. We need to get our freedom in the way of governance in general. People must know, people must know and recognize us. They must recognize us that we exist, we are people. We are not going to be the one to stand to be begging for the friendship of everybody. People should come to look for our own friendship also. Because we are somebody. And that is why 10,000 men are bearing arms now. Don't miscalculate it. Everybody is a high risk and everybody is sitting on it, including governor, everybody. I had somebody who, who, who should be regarded as a leader of the people. Who is coming to say uh, all the place of your training, every intelligence has got her, everything that... Without him knowing that his own life and the, the life of the governors, the life of all the state actors, the life of everybody in that very place, that intelligent of the formation of ESN is also have it in the palm of their hands. But Uwazulike, let me call his name so that they think we sweet him in the body. 
Intelligence has gathered where you are training, where your money is coming from, uh, your operation, that intelligent has it. Have you forgotten that even, intelligence of this profession? Not even, even his bedroom, even when he's sleeping. Have you also forgotten that the intelligent of uh, 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 ESN formation also have how you go, where you are planning to go in the next two months, where you will be tomorrow morning? Do you, don't do you think that they are daft? Because the nature calls it that that even the Adam if you bend down to 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 look at another person bump the cloth that cover your own also will be going up your own bamboo will be opening so don't think that you are the only one who gather intelligent other people also are gathering intelligent but what do you have to benefit from that crisis than saving your community do the right thing support esn bring out the money for esn make sure you look after them any person that dog sees as a stranger is somebody who is who has not looked after them you cannot ask dog to look to look at person who is taking after him as a stranger it never happened in the kingdom of animal talking of the kingdom of human being if you looked after people, they will see you as their own. Their duty is to protect you. So your duty is to support and look after them, people who are protecting you. So when they see you, they, you will be welcome in their mind. They will be motivated to do everything to make sure that, no, that nothing happened to your territory. Akali kwakepe. Akepa kwakali. When we go from this risk, all of us are involved. Stop, Yawasiyonu. Ask wisdom to enter you. Ask God to advise you. You need it 100%. On this note, I will be ending this very program. We will continue with some evidence that we clear your eyes on what we are explaining today. Isn't it we talk with mouth today? We are coming back to on the television. For you to watch until i come your way again i have to stop here because it's midnight mazipat has a journey of two hours to make this morning i don't want him to sleep on the road while driving so we come your way again when he's ready to bring me back before then stay much. true and never forget what i have explained to you in this very program you need to come out and join to have the ownership of esn when it backfired it will fall on every one of you Thank you so much, and God bless thank you. Thank you very much, Mazi Solomon. Thank you for always coming around. I want to say thank you, fellow dear friends. Thank you, everybody, for always uh, coming here to listen to us. We want to say have a wonderful uh, morning, night, or noon, wherever you might be. Until we meet again, my name remains Mazi Kempatu BK, and I urge you, each and every one, to support the Eastern Security Network. Volunteer whatever you have. So that we we'll make this journey easy for everybody. Protect our land and give our, our, our people the future they deserve. Thank you until we meet again. Have a wonderful night. God bless you all.